What's really good? It's your man DJ Nike. Batman versus Superman. Dawn of Justice. I am a comic book fan. I love my comic book adaptations, movies. I am a Marvel fan, first and foremost, but that isn't to say that I don't like my DC movies. Matter of fact, I must admit that the Dark Knight trilogy is probably the three best comic book movies Probably ever. I'd probably say of all time, as far as the way they were done, cinematography, actors. Now, that being said, Avengers, the first Avengers, is the highest grossing comic book movie of all time. Now, a lot of people expected Batman and Superman to surpass that. It's probably not going to happen. Now, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give you this for the movie. It's probably, I will give it a 7. The CGI is off the hook. I think the actors did an excellent job, including Ben Affleck. A lot of people were scared because Daredevil was horrid. Not the TV show on Netflix, the movie that came out in like 2005. It was awful. But I think uh, he did an excellent job. Both his Bruce Wayne and his Batman were pretty awesome. He bulked up. He did an excellent job in acting. For all you out there that say Christian Bale was a better Batman, that's pretty much BS. And I'm going to go this way. Christian Bale was surrounded by a bunch of good actors. What Another part that made the Dark Knight series so epic was the supporting cast. Heath Ledger, Aaron Eckhart, uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal, Gyll how do you say her name? <laughs> Morgan Freeman, Sir Michael Caine. He was surrounded by good people. He didn't really have to do anything but lower his voice and I'm back then. Now... Back to Batman vs. Superman. I also like my man Henry Cavill. He does an excellent job as Superman. He's the first non-American player or uh, actor to even play Superman. I think he did excellent in Man of Steel. Now, my problem with Batman and Superman versus Superman is the same issue I had with Man of Steel. They were both good movies, but they're not great movies. You can partially blame that on Zack Snyder. I tried to tell people that before it came. He is a comic book fan as well, but he does these, you know how the Dark Knight series were more, it could happen in a real world. It was actually possible. That's why people gravitated more towards those. Zack Snyder's movies, if you've seen anything like Sucker Punch, The Watchmen, any Zack Snyder movie is going to have that gritty, almost fake feel to it because he tries to make his movies feel like they're a comic book now that is decent it works sometimes it makes some of his movies too dark whereas batman is a dark character superman is not he's always supposed to be known as the boy scout if you've seen man of steel spoiler alert if you haven't seen it, i'll tell you right now superman kills in that movie kills zod superman does not kill ever that's one of the big things about him in the comic books for like the last 100 years. He doesn't kill. That being said, another spoiler alert. This is a small spoiler. I'm not going to ruin anything in the movie that would totally mess you up. This is a small, very small spoiler. Batman also kills in Batman vs. Superman. He, that's the two things about those characters they don't ever kill. He'll jack you up really bad, really bad. But they have Batman running around in a flashback with an Uzi and an M16 shooting people. Come on, Zack Snyder, you, you can't do that. You're, you're breaking up the core values of these characters. Now, again, I will say the actors did an excellent job, but you can only do so well with the way, way the movie was written. The movie is about two and a half hours long. There's a whole lot packed into that time that, honestly, it should either have been split into a two-part movie or they should have just... I don't know what they could have done. <laughs> There's just too many plot holes. Like you have Wonder Woman, she's introduced into the into the movie. Let's say as it's the dawn of the Justice League. So this was like their intro movie. And there's just too many pieces that don't fit together cohesively. Now, one thing I'll say about the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you had two Iron Man movies. You had a Captain America movie. You had a Hulk movie and a Thor movie before they did Avengers. That means there were five movies they made to build to 
give you a basis of each individual character. You don't have that with Batman versus Superman. You know who Superman is, you know who Batman is, and you may even know who Wonder Woman is, but they really don't give you that in-depth background. It's just like, here are the characters, we just guess you know everything, and this is what's going on. Bang! Try and keep up. And that is that lack of cohesiveness is the main problem with Batman versus Superman. All that being said, I still think it's a good enough movie to see. I, it was, I really enjoyed it. I didn't enjoy it. Or I shouldn't say really. I enjoyed it. I didn't really enjoy it. It's a great movie. I do think they'll, they'll do better with like Suicide Squad and possibly even the Justice League movie. Now that, you know, they've got a little intro to what they're trying to do. Basically, DC, you're trying to play catch up. You should have been doing this from a long time ago. You tried to stick too much information in one movie. All in all, like I said, I'll give it a seven. Go check it out. It's your man DJ Nike. I'm signing off.